There it is. There it is. That's a Spencer. Yeah, it is. We've dug a lot of Spencers around here. Solid base. Our bullets, and this is our secret weapon. Guys, you're not gonna believe what I just found with this tent. Something incredible. It's absolutely incredible. No On a mission to discover history, no matter where it takes them. You are now live with the History Seekers. We're talking to Ed Huffman here. Uh, Ed, what's going on with your channel, man? You getting out looking for uh, silver today or what? Actually, I'm getting out on a, uh, a gold quest today. Oh really? Just for gold and uh, do some urban gold mining. Awesome. And awesome. I have a monumental breakthrough. So you definitely want to check out this video coming up Friday. Monumental breakthrough. It's going to be a right. new place, and hopefully we'll be on some gold. Cool, man. We're going to check that out. We're headed over to Georgia right now. We are 37 miles out of Atlanta, going to dig some seal today. Nice. Have to come down and uh, dig some with us. Definitely. So we definitely need to plan that and uh, also get on a, uh, a quest for silver, maybe a quest for gold too while I'm down there. That's right, man. Look forward to it. Talk, hey, All right. We talk to you soon. All right, Tim. First really good target I've had is this new permission that we got. It sounds good. A lot of trash along this road though. So I'm just going to going to dig it right here and see what we got everything else that sounded like trash this sounded pretty solid all right pardon me while I find the target Get my shovel out of the way. I think I got it out of the hole with my shovel. It's in there. Well. That is a piece of lead of some kind. I'm not ready to call that a bullet. Looks just like a piece of lead. All right, back to it. We're at another spot. It's been a rough day. Not finding much, but I did just find that right here. You can see it. Don't know what it is. Uh, I think it may be the bottom of a Spencer casing. Actually, now that I look at it, um, let's see if I can brush it off a little bit. I think that's exactly what that is. Bottom of a Spencer casing. So, not much left of it, but that's the first sign of sip. I want to find something substantial. I want to find something substantial, Sib, but um, I'll take that as a clue. Maybe we're on a good spot. Be back. Sweet, sweet, sweet success. I am super excited. It's been months since we've come, come after Sib. I know it's not a button. It's not, you know, crazy brass or anything like that. But, I mean, we've been on that Spanish-American war camp, and I finally dug. I mean, I, dig, I dug the Yankee Penny, the... the um, Spencer casing bottom, but I wanted something substantial and I've got it. I can see it. Let's see if you can go in there with me. See that right there, front and center in the screen? That is a bullet. That is a bullet. Equinox got it. I'm a little, it's a little to the side. I don't want to mess it up. 
with the pen pointer. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Three ringer dropped. Yes. I'm telling you, feels good after not having one for so long. All right, so we're going to get back at it. Cover this hole up, get back at it, and see what we can find. He's right over there somewhere. You can see him in a blue shirt. But, uh, all right. Got another signal here. Promising range. Coming in at 16. Uh, maybe trash. We'll find out. Maybe trash. Maybe trash, maybe treasure. Oh, there it is. Yep. All right. Yes, sir. Another dropped. Another dropped three ringer. Dirty as can be. There it is. It's like a relief to find something, you know, after struggling all day. So that's two bullets for me. He's not on the board yet, but I think he's getting into the area now where he might can find something with these Noxes. We've been over these areas with other machines, coming back over it with another machine. And, uh, hitting pay dirt here finally back later i've got a really good signal here is it 16 17 on 16 17 all these briars 17 solid You've got two bullets already. I have two bullets already. I have yet to strike today. Not been my day. Oh. Could it be? Could it be number three? Could it be? Could it be? Let's see. All right, the great reveal. Which is probably means it's not gonna be. <laughs> it usually means it's not gonna be anything good. It's gonna be a modern book. No, there it is. There it is. That's a Spencer. Yeah, it is. We've dug a lot of Spencers around here. Solid base. Yep. You know, I dug one here, Scott, that had the uh, casing still around yeah. the uh, still around the bullet. Check that hole. Check that hole some more. There could be more of the Spencer casing because yeah, that's, cause that's that not fired. Dropped. Yeah, that's, that looks dropped. Of course, you never know in a place like this. It may have been a farmer's field at some point. Yeah, it could so have been. could have been pushed around by a plow. Could have been. It looks all. But now that it. one that I had though, was absolutely in the hole oh, yeah. intact. I mean, it was just broken up. So. Absolutely. Good find, dude. All nice. Right. Do it. All right, guys. I got a strong 17 signal. I'm using the Equinox on field two. That's uh, right there somewhere. Let's brush it away. See if we can find it. I think this might be a bullet. We're over next to our road though, so it could be just a twist off the top. I moved it. There it is. That's it. There we go. That is a Civil War bullet of some variety. Looks like it's fired. Hmm. I had to clean that up. I think it's going to be a fired three ringer. Hit on the side. We will be back. Look at that. And what, Scott, I mean, these are not like yours, but what are those doing in the woods? We're hunting Civil War relics. This is not Civil War. These are lightweight. They actually, they may be aluminum. They feel very light, but uh, yeah, odd find, especially for the woods. 
We'll take it. Guys, you're not gonna believe what I just found with this tent. Something incredible. It's absolutely incredible. No writing on it, but check this out. Here's a regular wear hole. See how the, the holes look? Kind of tattered. Some of them are square, misshaped. I noticed this while I was rolling it up. Look at that. That is a round hole. That is a round hole that I, and I've misshapen it some because I've measured it already. Let me show you what it measures out to. This is incredible. Look at that. Right at 45 caliber. That would be close to the 4570 bullets that they had. I think this is a bullet hole. You can tell it's a lot cleaner hole. It's a whole lot cleaner hole because the bullet basically cuts through there. You don't see the, the fraying like you do as much on some of the other holes. That is very different. I am pretty sure that's a bullet hole. There was a lot of violence at this camp, uh, a lot of racial violence. It could be related. We found a lot of bullets that have been fired there, a lot of casings, which is kind of unusual inside a camp. Don't know if this was part of the violence or don't know if maybe some soldier fired off around it, just hit the tent. We don't know. Uh, let you guys decide what you think down in the comments below. Hey guys, back in the Duncan Laboratories. It's the day after I'm obviously dressed for work, but I have these relics here that I have not cleaned up that I thought I would show you uh, a little bit about cleaning it up. You can see they've, they've got this kind of a brown dirt crust on them. Now, this particular site that we went to, a lot of times they, they keep that brown crust, um, but not all the time. This is your secret weapon and cold water. So let's just, uh, let's just go over here and just run a little cold water. And sometimes you can just use, sometimes you can just use your hand to, you know, just literally your fingers under cold water. Uh, for some reason, warm water will sometimes cause them to, um, will, will sometimes cause it to, to take the patina off. So. We usually try and stick to cold water, and um, let's see if I can uh, see if we can do this. Okay, so you just take the the bullet and just gently scrub. Keep wetting it. Gently scrub. You don't want to. A lot of people make the mistake of over cleaning these Civil War bullets. You want to kind of leave some of the the dirt and patina on there and the color this one's a this one's a really nice color uh, it's very satisfying to see these things come clean the bases are always filled with dirt or most of the time they are so you just kind of have to kind of have to work that out of there and you always want to clean the base out because sometimes there are uh, stars or, or things inside the base that, that differentiate that bullet from other types of bullets. This one's just a regular old base here, I think. But um, there you go. Look at that. You can kind of work, work out the, the dirt out of those crevices there in the rings a little bit. But look at that. Beautiful. And when it dries, it'll be, it'll be really pretty. So... Let's do another one. All right, so I'm just gonna dry these off on a paper towel. And uh, we've got another three ringer and a spencer, a carbine bullet right there to do. But as you can see, it's pretty dirty. All right, so let's get another one of these guys and uh, take them over here to the sink. And same kind of process. 
This one, I'll bet you, the skin's pretty thick on it, so I'll bet you this one's gonna be a little tougher to get to the right level of cleanliness that you want. I don't know, it's starting to come off there okay. We have a secret trick, though, that we can show you that was shared to us by uh, Depths of History. If it doesn't come too clean, it has too much of that skin on there. Um, yeah, this one, this one's gonna, we're gonna try the trick on this one that, that Depths of History uh, showed us. So, just get that base clean a little bit there. Yeah, see how that one kind of looks dirty and, and kind of ugly? Not like the other one, it's splotchy. Well, in just a minute I'll show you a trick to, uh, to getting that to, to where it looks a little, a little better. Sorry for the crunching. That's not the bullet, that's my dog eating. Scout. Oh, <laughs> I spooked her. All right, so uh, I'll tell you that trip in just, trick in just a minute, but let's try the Spencer first without the trick and see what happens. Okay. All right, there's the Spencer. It's also got skin. Like I said, a lot of these bullets from this from this area have a skin on them, uh, kind of a dirt skin on them. So let's uh, let's see what this one does. It, it may also require the uh, the trick that I'm talking about to get it to where it actually looks a little prettier than it would normally. Yeah, this one's got a pretty thick skin on it. Um, as you can see, Spencer bullets are, are carbine bullets. They're solid base. Uh, they actually went into a brass case casing and, and uh, was fired out of a carbine rifle. Oh, that's nice. No fear. No fear. I've got it. There we go. Got it. That's always a hazard. If you got pipes, I have a garbage disposal so I can get down in there and get it, but that's, <laughs> you want to be wary of that, but anyway. All right, so obviously that one's got a pretty thick skin and it's going to require a little bit of extra attention. So let's use our little cheat code and I'll show you that in just, just a minute. So. This is a bowl. Sorry, we have the attack of the animals here. So anyway, this is the bowl. And this, these are our bullets, and this is our secret weapon. Sudsy ammonia. Not ammonia, sudsy ammonia. So we're gonna take, we don't need to do it on this one because it's beautiful. We're gonna take these two bullets right here that, was, that were giving us trouble. And we are going to put sudsy ammonia. So we're going to put it, fill enough where it covers them up. And we're going to leave them there for about five to ten minutes. You don't want to leave them there too long because eventually it will wear off the patina. But if you leave, it, leave them in there just long enough, it will take that scum, that uh, skin that they've got over uh, off of there and hopefully leave a nice patina underneath. Thank you, Britton Lockhart, Depths of History, for showing us that trick. I've been using it for several years now. It works like a charm. So see you in five minutes, five to ten minutes. You can already see some dirt coming off. Stir them a little bit if you want to. You can already see some of the skin, some of the dirt coming off of there. But we have another probably six minutes or so. I'm going to split the difference. So that's just what the doctor ordered. All right, all right, all right. It's time. Time to see if the secret formula worked. Sudsy ammonia. It's been soaking in here. I left it. I left it a little longer than I was going to. Left it around ten minutes because. The patina still looks good and the, that skin was pretty thick. It may not completely um, 
clean them off completely, but you know, it may still have a little bit of stain on it, but it's going to be far better than it was going to be if you didn't put it in here. So let's take one over here and with the toothbrush and find out how it, how it's going to look. So let me use my little my little stand here. And you want to wash you always obviously want to wash the sudsy ammonia off of these things. Um as best you can. And, but in the meantime, while it's still on there and it's still, you can still get some suds, some kind of soapy suds out of it. It's just like, it's kind of like soap at this point. So you just scrub it and see if you can't get the stuff off of there. And it's working. It's working, it's working, it's working. So let's get the let's get that off of there as best we can. Look at that. Look at that right there. There's a few stains left over, but it kind of adds character to it. And it's got a nice patina on it. And I'll give you a little bit of a secret too. The patina kind of looks dull, but it but when it for some reason with the sudsy ammonia, as soon as it dries, that patina will pop back out. So let me just grab the other bullet over here. All right, there's that one. And let's scrub on it a little bit. This one's gonna not look quite as good because it had a super thick skin of that mineralization on it. Um, that's all I can describe it as. It's kind of like this one particular spot that we've been to before that we found these bullets at. They have this, this weird thick mineralization skin that happens on top of these bullets. And, uh, and they can look, before I figured out the, the, you know, before Britain tipped us off of the sudsy ammonia stuff, these bullets looked hideous. And I need to really go back through and clean some of the older ones that I have. But look at this. Look at this. It's got a nice, kind of an old, um, you know, antique kind of looking, uh, patina on that you know on that Spencer bullet there so I think I actually think I'll leave it like that I was thinking about putting it back in but I don't know I think that adds character to it uh, it's got kind of a parchment color to it and we'll see what it looks like when it actually dries out completely but I think that's gonna look good so so yeah there they are all three of them this is the one that didn't need it but look at the others. I'll get out of the out of the light there. Look at the others in comparison after the set of the ammonia. They were all mottled and splotched, and now they've got nice clean patinas uh, for you to, to look at. And I need to clean that up. I don't know exactly what that is. I think it's modern, but this but uh, that's a Spencer casing. Don't use brass on the set of ammonia uh, with brass because it will take that green off of there. Uh, but anyway. That was good, and um, you know it wasn't a huge hunt with a huge number of finds or, or you know whatever. But we got a few bullets, and uh, we kind of got that that urge to go uh, do Civil War stuff off our back. So now we can go back, go out and try and find some more stuff and diversify a little bit. Maybe hit some Andrew Jackson stuff. Maybe some coins. Maybe try and find another Spanish American War camp. So uh, so yeah, just remember Sudsy Ammonia. We'll do the trick for stubborn stains on bullets. Just don't overuse it because it will take the patina off eventually. But uh, just having it in there for a few minutes, we'll do it. Toothbrush and cold water. So that's it. See you guys next time.